Welcome back to New World Next Week. I'm James Corbett of CorbettReport.com. And I'm James Evan Pilato of MediaMonarchy.com. And, you know, plotting covert activity on government emails would, would just be silly. We will have that story in just a few moments. But, James, you and I were discussing a way to sort of disrupt the pattern. And every episode of New World Next Week for 2015 so far, we've included good news stories. But we've always had them at the end of the episode. So we want to put the good news right up front and center on this episode 222 of New World Next Week. Play the game. Reclaim your brain. Don't fallus me, bro. Dot com teaches logical fallacies. The game, Don't Fallus Me, Bro, or you can find it at don'tfallus.me, created by our friend Morgan Lesko of Wiki World Order. He notes this collaborative logic training game aims to improve critical thinking and aid in the revival of the trivium method of learning. So you can explore, participate, support independent and constructive sources of news, research, and entertainment. And James, I was just actually, I, I just found out about this site. And it's a great bit of fun. I spent the previous half hour kind of playing around on it and messaged Morgan about the creation of this website. And he noted actually that it's, that it's still in beta. They're already working on updates for, uh, for a redesign. And noted, much like wikis and open source material, the more people get involved and the more people add their own examples, and we'll get into it here in just a second, like anything, the, the better it's going to be because more people are involved. So, James, I'm going to put you on the spot and make you play a little round of Don't Fallus Me, Bro. So, here we go. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. What example of a fallacious argument is that? Is that an ad hominem? Slippery slope, appeal to spite, false dilemma, or peer pressure? James? I'm going to go with false dilemma. You are correct, my friend. Great yeah. job. You are using your critical thinking skills. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists is a false dilemma because I might not be with either of you. And each explanation will show you. It's, it's a really great resource, James. Or you might be the terrorist. So, yeah, <laughs> in the case of Bush, yeah, no, excellent resource. This is a great idea and I, I, just one of those wonderful ideas that people come up with that can help to spread some of this uh, this learning and information in a, in a fun and engaging way. And a, again, as you said, um, the more people who participate in this and send in their own examples, uh, the better the, the site will be. So please do check it out. Don't, don't me. Like you, I just found it myself today. So it's uh, I'm just playing around and uh, trying some of the example questions. And I think it's a great way to, to sharpen your uh, critical thinking skills. And let's put it in the perspective that it deserves to be put in. Just because an argument is fallacious does not mean its conclusion is either correct or incorrect. It doesn't say anything about that. It just says that we can't believe an argument uh, that is fallacious on the basis of that argument alone. So um, so let's, uh, let's sharpen up our critical thinking skills and see if we can put it to some use. And I love examples like that one that you just cited because uh, they are real world examples that we have all heard and uh, these are big, glaring, fallacious arguments that have been shoved in our face for the last uh, decade or century or whatever. And uh, it's time to, to start deconstructing them. And uh, this is a fun way to do it. 